Okay, I want to call to order the uh, budget amendment hearing for June the 19th of 2018. And Nancy, will you call the roll, please? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Behind here. Here. <laughs> Mr. Beavers? Here. Dr. Corley absent, Mrs. Dorr? Yep, here. Mr. Green absent, Mrs. James? Here. Mrs. Miller? Here. Mr. Rundy? Here. Uh, just for the information of the board, we got a text from Mr. Corley this morning. Actually, Mr. Grody did. He had a death in the family, and earlier in the week, I must, is that what it said, Mr. Yeah, I don't know why exactly. And he had to travel somewhere. But he was, he's out of town. He asked to call in, but he only notified us this morning. He asked to give us a 24-hour notice. So he will not be allowed to call in. So I wanted the board to be made aware of that, and we knew that Mr. Green was going to be absent due to vacation. So, Okay, uh, time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Ellemeyer, please lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we need to approve, to approve the agenda for the hearing. Is, are there any changes, Mr. Grove? Uh, no. All right, then I will accept the motion to approve the agenda as printed. So moved. And accept. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. okay. Item five, presentation of the amended budget. And I think you just handed this out. I Mrs. did. Bush. And I know I said that there may have been more changes, but there weren't. I did not make any additional changes no. to the budget. Um, so the, the big things in um, education fund was to um, put the increase in the evidence-based funding in there that we started in, in April through, um, through June. So that's the biggest part of the revenue change. And um, the biggest part of the expenditures is the uh, early inclusion of the early IMRF ERI payoff, uh, the part that we uh, plan to budget out the education fund, and the increase in the science textbook adoption. So those were the, the big education revenue and expenditure changes to the budget. Um, operations and maintenance fund, we did have uh, an increase. We had a um, lightning insurance claim. Um, also, interest, just because of the economy, improvement of the economy, interest in every fund increased, so I made some adjustments in, in those. Um, I've never had that big of an um, increase in, in uh, interest in all the years I've been here, so that was kind of a nice nice thing to have this year. Um, yay, economy. <laughs> so, um, uh, let's see. So the other, I mean, the, the line items in, in O&M, there were adjustments, but they all offset each other, just between purchase services, capital outlay, and supplies, just the way those fall. Uh, we did have one in the O&M fund, one um, larger revenue reduction. It's always an estimate, our E-rate revenue. And so the E-rate, we overestimated that. That I went ahead and adjusted that. Uh, debt service looks like a large decrease, but this, when we initially set the budget, a little uncertain how the um, county facility sales tax, how we were going to do that and budget that. And um, what we what we did is is actually just put the amount in that we needed to to do the, um, I can't even think of the word. Um, abatement. Abatement, yes, thank you. Mrs. Miller, thank you, couldn't find my word. Uh, the abatement, so, so most of the money is staying in the capital projects fund from the county facility tax, so that's what this reflects. Initially, I had more in the budget going into debt service, and uh, so that money is gonna sit in the capital projects fund, and only when the board does approve abatement will that money be transferred into the debt service fund. So, um, and we did have one increase on, in expenditures 106,000 and that was the first interest payment on the auditorium bonds were actually due in May. So I, the budget reflects that as well as um, a premium, uh, revenue source premium on the bonds sold revenue source and that's for the interest payment we just made and then the next two. So we have money up front from the bond sale to make those payments without having to, you know, dip into anything else. So that was just part of that bond sale. Uh, transportation fund, really pretty minimal changes, nothing in expenditures, um, interest, property tax adjustment, and then um, increase. We did actually receive more due to additional quarterly payment than we 
than we originally planned. So um, total change of about a little under fifty six thousand in revenue. Um, IMRF very small increase in um, revenue due to property tax and, and interest, and then of course reflection of the increase the one time early IMRF payoff in, including the budget one hundred and fifty thousand. Um, capital projects, as I mentioned earlier, I did increase uh, 44000 interest, um, and then the uh, county facility sales tax, that increased by 632 So really, we are receiving more than we originally budgeted planned on, so that's a, that's a bonus as well in total funds. So that was, that's just movement from one fund to the other. And then another cleanup adjustment on um, other sources of funds, principal on bonds sold, um, it came out a little differently once we did the did the bond sale. There was a principal and then a premium, so I just reflected those as actual. And then um, working cash, tort, only a, uh, changes there were property tax and interest adjustments, as well as fire prevention and safety. So no huge changes anywhere. Um, things were looking pretty good and. <laughs> We're you know looking to be in the black at the end of the year. So, um, Jane, how much would you say we in the new money from the EV, EBF? <laughs> I want to call it EVP money, but the new money. From, uh, what's that been this year? How much is the new yeah. money? Um, Eight sixty. And you would expect that to continue next year? Probably. It will be included, at least for next year, that new 860 will be included at, in our evidence-based funding as our uh, minimum, uh, so, so our new general state aid amount, basically, um, and that inc includes special ed. So whatever we receive, adjusted by enrollment. So instead of getting paid based on, we used to get paid based on attendance, so we had to do a, mm -hmm. a report in June every month. This is, you know, attendance right. for every month. They're still going to ask us to do that report, but that won't happen until August, and I guess so they can collect some other data, but it's not, that's not how we're getting paid, so the big thing is our enrollment numbers. So there, that may not be the exact number we get, that nine, whatever, whatever is in here, I think it ended up being a little over 10 million. Um, that number next year plus another 860 adjusted 10 million for 20. Now that numbers are old general state aid, all of our you know all of our big special ed money, and then we'll get this money included as our, as our minimum. Okay, and then you there's lost me somewhere along okay, the way 10, here. Okay, 10 for 10. So here's what they're telling us: 10 million 400 thousand, and then we can add 860 to that, and that will be our minimum um, evidence-based funding next year, adjusted for enrollment. What is the 10 for? Is that basically the amount we've gotten in the past or that will include no that includes the, the new 860 EB. that includes that new 860,000 okay. that we that we just started receiving so it'll grow in by another 160 then that'll grow by four plus another 860. 860 that should be our minimum um and and i really don't have any way at this point to estimate how how that will be adjusted <coughs> based on enrollment okay. i'm not even sure how if our <coughs> Right. Up or down at this point. We, what creative know, thing will come up? Um, and so there, there is included in the budget an additional three hundred fifty million, like they did this year, um, to be distributed. But that won't be part of our. That won't happen in the beginning. Yeah. That's not going. That's not going to be included in the. Um, I think that will be doled out later, kind of like it was. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't foresee that to be included immediately, as a guarantee. You're saying additional. To the eleven two sixty. Day. Yeah. Okay. I mean that's how it's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. Every um, year they're going to that's in how the spring kind of look at where their finances are and then give you a new a new like we got the eight sixty this year, a new amount that would then be added on to the next year's base. So because we're still in the in current fiscal year and haven't moved forward, we haven't <clears> seen <throat> that numbers on the uh, and I was on the state board website. Um, and I, I really expect, because I don't think they have an idea where that revenue is coming from yet. So I don't think they're going to start pushing it through the comptroller's office. But I, I'm hoping, and as soon as I see that number on our website, <coughs> I will let you know what that looks like. Because we start getting our general state aid. I think they start posting about the 10th, 10th or 12th of August. So um, 
just about time to, to get a budget out there for you to look at for, <laughs> for next year. And how much in the black are we going to finish the year on? You know? um, <coughs> my estimate, where is my, um, a little under three million for the, that's our total fund balance. So we're, we're looking um, revenues over expenditures about 574,000. In the black, 574 for the year in the black. So we'll be able to add some sort of fund balance. Of course, we still have, I know uh, a lot of bills are still going to come in. We will do a, one additional schedule of bills on June 30th, as we always do, just to get all of our any payables out there included in the, in the current year. Um, that's not, you know, I know that's just 11 days, but I had, there's, there are a lot that roll in at the very last a, minute. Like a lapse period? Um, no, I mean through August to make corrections or do anything like no, that. No, typically no. It's, we're cash basis, so what we have on hand, we pay. Um, on but the I mean, the state doesn't give you a lapse. No. Okay. Well, I mean, in, because we're not on our grants, we have we have we have that on our grants because our Title One, we have until I think we spend the last of our Title One to in September. Mm -hmm. So the money that we have for this fiscal year for our Title Grants carries through because we have salaries in there that we're paying through September third. So that money gets spent, and we'll get that next you know, in the next. But that's just year. on the grant. Yep, so that's just on the grants. But the way things work is, you know, we're getting 12 months of utility bills in 12 months. It, it may not be, you know, everything run through exactly June 30th, but we're typically typically getting 12 months of all those types of expenses in. Any other questions from the board? And the fund balance with the 574 was what? Just under three million? Yeah, estimated two point two million nine sixty seven. <clears throat> Anyone else? Okay, I will open up uh, to the audience, recognition of the audience, if you have any questions regarding the budget. Speak all at once, or no one. Okay, we'll accept the motion to adjourn. Um, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, and we've got just a couple minutes.